Right, so we're uh, we're with the last team uh, for the night under 15 ones. We're with Coach Les Smith. Leslie, right. welcome, how you going, buddy? mate. 15 ones. How are you enjoying it? You like this is your is this your first year of uh, coaching? Nah, second year. I done the under 11s as well when they had the tiered system, and then come back this year. So you're enjoying it. Right, mate. So, uh, mate, firstly, I come and watched uh, their major semi. Mate, so impressed with the quality in the defence. Two in a tackle, one coming down into the legs, you know, really working. It was pretty clinical. Is that something you had to sort of impose and coach in such a young squad? Like when I was growing up, we had we had none of that. And, you know, you can go watch go watch some teams play and, you know, that's not, that's not really a big emphasis, but that seemed to be a big part of your game. Yeah, we probably... It is something you need to coach into kids, especially early now. Everyone's doing it. You know, it's about the wrestle, win the ground. You basically win the game. So we, half our session will, will be wrestling technique stuff. Um, but certainly, uh, it's it's not really built in their DNA to tackle like that. So it's certainly got to be coached. But they love it. Once you do it, as you can see on the weekend, they get clinical at it. And we just got good kids too, which helps. Mate, there's a there's a there's a back rower that I saw out there, and he was absolutely massive. He had no regard for his body. He ran hard, tackled hard. Mate, who are uh, your fifteens now? Who do you reckon will move on? You know, they got the Knights under sixteens, the Chargers squad. Obviously, you know, when I was there, you could see a lot of bags with rep and Northern New South Wales and whatnot. So obviously, there's a lot of talent in the in the team. But who's 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 a couple of your standout picks, and and who do you think? Will, will, you know, if they don't make NRL, they'll definitely play junior, you know, rep footy. Yeah, the kid you're talking about is Lockie Williams, the 11. Uh, he played New South Wales schoolboys this year. Um, tough as teats. Um, yeah, you're right, no no regard for his body. Just uh, no nonsense, straight up and down, bash you all day and loves it. But uh, also, the, um, we've got a few kids. The fullback, Logan Radzovic. Once he decides where he wants to play, we'll probably go on and be whatever he wants. You know, he's a pretty good touch player. Um, he's a rep cricketer, uh, the whole lot. So, does he um, does he have anyone to play with cricket with this week? Uh, this this up and coming summer, does he want to play with the Yowies? He's already signed up with the Yowies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. So this is is this like here with the white shorts? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, right on, mate. I was pretty impressed with your your young hooker. He's pretty nippy and 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 pretty tough as well, mate. Young Jack, your your young fella. What's it like? What's it like coaching your young fella? Yeah, good, good. He doesn't listen, but sort of. I don't know. Do any kids? From. Do any kids? <laughs> no. Where does he get that from? He's going good. That's only his second game of halfback, and he's good. He's plays straight, plays direct, gets bashed a little bit going to the line, but you know, blokes appreciate it, so they run holes for him. And mate, he's tough. He's going good. So would uh would you say Jack sort of is uh, you know, he's more of the organizer and and director of the the team, and then your six, your six seem to be pretty pretty crafty and pretty nippy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Jack gets us around the park. Isaiah the Six, he's another kid. Um, he's with the Swans Academy. Um, does whatever he wants. Playing Aussie Rules today. Quarter finals for State League. So he's another kid who can go anywhere. And he's a kid to just give the ball. Play footy, mate. You know, one of them kids. Does he have a player manager? No, but uh, Jake Hawkins seems to be ringing a lot. <laughs> Hawko's Hawko's chasing horses up in Tamworth, so he's he, you can't have a manager that's that far away. I, I think I think we might have to do a duel. Dual manager, you know, we'll only take you know, 50 percent for his contract, something like that. Mate, uh, who do you play this weekend? Where at? Uh, Cessnock, East Maitland. Last year's winners, good side. I think they got 12 or 13 in the Maitland rep team. Some good front rowers, real good half. So um, they'll be tough, real tough. Mate, just uh, off off memory and thinking about the game, mate. A couple of shots. Who was your front rowers? They absolutely rattled. A couple of their big blokes, and you just saw the dust flying off Cardiff Oval, mate. Who were they? They were impressive. Yeah, one's Reese Williams. He's my captain. Um, you know, he's I think he's six three and ninety five kilo, and tough as toots. And um, yeah, mate, all my front rowers are good. I got four front rowers who I think are rep standard. And unfortunately, two come off the bench, which is why we're going all right. But I think you're thinking of Reese Williams, mate. It was, I was. I was sitting in there watching, and it made me, you know, done the ooh and ah, and, and and you know, holy shit, that was it was pretty impressive, mate. Do you want to hand the reins over to to Jackie Boy or someone, and and they can go around, or do you want do you want do you want me to go around and just grab a couple of boys mate, as we go? Because we've got the team here. Right, oh. mate. Mate, don't get nervous, mate. Big weekend coming up, grand final, mate. Uh, are you nervous? 
Oh, fairly. Look, I don't usually get nervous during finals, but, you know, it does kick in, like, sometimes, like, when you're just thinking about it and that. Yeah. yeah. Mate, uh, your dad, when he was younger, he was, you know, and, and you would have seen, he still plays touch. He's, he's pretty quick for for his age. Mate, he's got that left step. Do you have any sort of attributes that, that your dad has? Or do you have your mum? Your mum was a pretty good touch player, played for Australia. Do you have any, do you have her skills? Oh, well, I'd prefer to have mums. But, uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, I guess I can develop, it, develop that further when I get older and start developing my body a bit more. Right, oh mate. So, uh, so you play halfback. You steer the team around. Do you have a, Do you have any messages for for, um, you know, the halfback for for Maitland? You know, do you do you know do you know some of them boys? Oh yeah, I do know some of them. Not not real well, but I do know some of them like a bit. And you were you were saying that um you were saying off camera earlier that the seven for East Maitland's a cat, and you're going to drop him on his head. Oh, not true. <laughs> <laughs> Media. Making up stuff again. Oh, mate, who, who would who would make up that sort of stuff? <laughs> right, oh, mate. Well, I tell you what, I was gonna, I was I was gonna shame you. I was gonna I was gonna rip you some some pretty bad jokes, but mate, I won't. I can tell you're nervous. I'll let you go over there, mate. Hey, good luck for the weekend. And uh, just just quickly, we used to go up. I used to go travel up to Port Macquarie with um with Les and his and his brothers. I used to take this young fella around in the pram and try to pick up chicks. Well, you know, on the back of him being a cute kid. And now here we are, he's, he's 15 years old and, you know, we're interviewing him for his grand final. So, mate, have fun. Thank I'll you. talk to you later. <laughs> mate, AFL. AFL shirt, playing rugby league. Mate, you've got to pick. Now, football, AFL. Footy. <laughs> you like it better? Yeah, he's better. Right, so, mate, you're a fullback. What do you what do you base what's your what's your best attribute? So what do you think you're the best at? And who would you who would you base your you know who do you play like or who do you try to be like? Oh, uh, I guess I try to be like Greg Inglis because he's like just big and strong and yeah, he's just always it's two steps ahead of everyone. Right, uh, and uh, what's your what's your best attribute? Are you fast? Do you do you think you read the play well or do you just like you said you try to be like Grego? So you just try to barge and charge. Yeah, probably my speed and my strength. That's about it. Right. Uh, any message for uh, for East Maitland coming up? Oh, no. None. No. Mate, nothing. Nothing. Do you do you know any of the boys? Yeah, I play a couple of them with the Chargers side for Knights. But yeah. And you, and you were saying earlier that you don't think they should be in that squad and that they're all pretty crap. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Don't lie now because the camera's on. <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Right, mate. We'll uh, go over. Send me, uh, where's your, send me over your little hooker. Bar TV, <laughs> give, uh, give the viewers your name and your position. Um, Jackson Saunders, um, hooker. Yeah. Right, on, mate. I, uh, I was out there against Cardiff, at Cardiff, I meant, uh, watching you play. Mate, you're pretty quick out of, out of dummy half. And, uh, Maitland have got some big boys and, mate, I was pretty shocked at how tough you are. Mate, how do you how do you go into the grand final knowing you're a little bit, you know, smaller uh, than the opposition, and or do you just do you, you know do you care about that you little that that little bit smaller? Not really. So you just go 100 percent no matter what. No matter what. Atta boy. Now what about when you're in the fence? How do you like you like picking them up, driving them in, or just make the tackles and get the job done? Oh, if they're running straight and pick them up, and, but you drop them on their head? No. No. Yeah, you can. No, maybe not head. Maybe just shoulders. Yeah. No. And uh, do you do you come down over the top with an elbow? No. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I'm not not that dirty. Right. Okay, mate. So, uh, mate, hooker. Who's your favourite hooker? And who do you try to play like? Oh, Cameron Smith. He's he's a good hooker. Uh, he just reads the play. Knows what he's doing. He's got his head up all the time. That's pretty much it. So do you, and and do you? Because you are so fast out of dummy half, and you you know you can back yourself. Do you have to pick the times when you when you can get out and go try to go attack the attack the defence? Uh, usually if the markers are lazy, I'll run. But even if they aren't, I usually get a forward to like look like I'm they're taking the hit up, and then I'll scoot the other way and make more meters off that as well. Right, I well I got a hot tip for you. I was out there watching your semis. They're lazy, so when you jump out, take someone under you, and they and and they're not there. Mate, can you uh can you go over and send me your two props? 
So we're, we're with the big tower and front row as the middlemen. Righto, give us your names. Marcus. Uh, Lachlan Williams. Righto, so both uh, both props. Give us a, a little rundown or give us an insight of who you like to play like and, and what's your best asset. Oh, I just like to play, I don't know. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you like to be sort of like the Aaron Woods type, try to get the offload, or do you just play simple and, and run hard? Just play simple, run hard. Right, what about you, bud? Yeah, I'm a bit the same. Um, I like Sonny Bill Williams because he he's always tackling hard and running hard and always making big bust moves. So yeah, mate. I was like I was saying to the boys earlier. I come out and watched uh, your semi-finals. I was really impressed with your defence and how you control the ruck, how you wrestle. You all wrestle together, mate. There was one shot, and I think it was I think it was you. Yeah, absolutely nailed that bloke, and I, I still reckon he'd be peeing blood. Mate, do you? Uh, I was I was a little bit shocked you didn't jump over the top, throw a dirty elbow. You don't like playing that sort of style. Oh, no, nah, like, cause their their front rower. There was there was a front rower that they had, and he was trying to dirty shot everyone. Yeah. You need to meet fire with fire. Yeah, no, nah, we're we're like all good mates. So like I know all all of them and stuff, and it was kind of just like at the end of the day we're all mates, but we're still out. There. No mates on the field. Yeah, that's it. Righto. Right so yeah. Righto, mate. So uh, you're in the. In the Chargers squad, or is that what is that what it was? Um, I actually got picked selected to play Harold Matthews, so that's the six teams. So, and you played there this year? Um, yeah, I played um, only like two, three games, but for the training for um, next year, the experience, which was really good. Well, mate, they you know they they ran through the comp and and won a grand final. So, mate, even though you weren't in there all year, it's still a good experience. And mate, you're going to go there next year already playing against 16 year olds and you're going to go against blokes playing your own age what about you mate you got aspirations to play higher level not really <laughs> not really no i just, just muck around you just like playing footy to have fun get yeah mate it's it's uh it's it's some it's you, you won't find another sport better than footy you get to come here and and make the social side of things when you get older there's nothing better so mate keep going Boys, good luck for the weekend. Hope you have fun. And uh, who else? Who else is a real character in your team that we can we can get over and talk shit? Just give us the viewers your name. What position you play? Uh, Dean Langdon, centre. Langdon. Wow, from Raymond Terrace. Yeah. You're not related to Sean. Yeah, yeah. What are they? They yeah, are my cousin, him and Craig. Yep. Mate, they are the two of the loosest humans that I've ever met. Mate, have you seen them in any drunken state lately? <laughs> no, nah, not lately. Only a few times, though. Righto. We, uh, and what about you, mate? Sorry, what's your name? Where do you play? I remind my cook. I play hooker. Hooker. Righto. So you, are you uh, off the bench, impact player? Yeah. And uh, how do you, when you go on, what's your, what's your main effort? What are your, try, what are you trying to do? I just keep, um, st um, stay hard in the middle, like stay tight, come off, come off the bench, um, like impact, hard runs, plenty of energy. Yeah, get the boys talking, talking in the middle throughout the ruck, getting, getting off the ruck, put some plays off me. Yep. Righto. So, uh, mate, we're just talking to your forwards, mate. They reckon you two are the characters of the team. The shit talkers. Is that true? Oh. With a name, last name, and Langdon, you'll definitely have to be up there. Do you have to carry a uh, Do you have to carry a hanky chief in your pocket to wipe it off your chin? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah. Um, oh. okay. You've got you've got a big reputation. Les and Renee talk that much. Cr they they've got a, they've got a high opinion of you about how funny you are. Yeah. What about give us some give us some jokes or something about? Like, what about Jack? I was going to sledge Jack earlier. But he got real nervous, and I felt sorry for him. So, mate, look at look at your coach. Just have a look at the old fella getting in here trying to defend. Is this what he does all the time? Does he try to lead by? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Eh? But at least, mate, at least he's getting in there and having a go. Right. Eh? So, do you want to give any messages out for any of the cats from East Maitland? 
fuck, fuck, give something, something, you know. Yep. Don't talk smack and all you're going to get smack. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, that's what you were saying earlier. <laughs> when I interviewed you earlier, you were like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna lay the smack down on them. It's going to be like, you know, they'll think I'm the rock. Nah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy later. Nah, maybe. Right, Lango, you're uh, your cousins. Yeah. One of the nicest, you know, real nice blokes, but on the footy field, especially Craig. Massive grub. Yeah. Do you have any grub tendencies out on the field? Oh, it depends. You know, like, if someone wants to give it to me, I'll give it back, fair enough. Yeah. No, do it from the start. Don't worry if they give it to you first. Yeah, I know. I'm not known as the grubbiest player, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go at least now and then if I, if I have to. What uh, what side what side of the field do you play? Uh, right side. Second row. Second row, centre, yeah. What are, what are you playing? What did you play in the semis? Um, played centre, but I'll start in second row. And number eleven. Yep. I went out there and I told um, I told Les. I said you need when you come to your, to your edge, you need to do a red. And I think you went and scored after that. So, you know, thank me whenever you want. <laughs> but uh, they've got some pretty quality players. You know, well they definitely showed it. They'll layer in their Northern New South Wales bags and wearing their Northern New South Wales hats and all that sort of crap. Does that worry you? Or are you just like, eh, we smashed you anyway? No, they can, they can try the hardest, I guess, intimidate us, but I don't know. It's not going to do much. They can come out, try the hardest, you know. There was, there was one bloke that, that was walking and he looked the part. He even had, I think he had wax in his hair. It was that it was that stiff. I think he played back row for, for the other team. Mate, boys, have fun. Good luck. Uh, hopefully, where do you play? Actually, I forgot to ask Les. Where do you play? What time? Three forty. Three forty. I might be able to make that. So uh, I'm not playing first grade anymore. Damn, I miss Stodge. Do you know Stodge? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I miss him. He was a good coach. He was a good coach. Right, oh boys. Well, good luck. I might see he's up there. Have fun. Thank you. Thank and uh, don't get too drunk if he's win. He's <laughs> he's he's get into that. You're gonna get into it or? Basketball. Bit of Xbox, PlayStation. Righto, boys. Thanks for that. And we'll talk to you later. Righto, so we'll wrap it up there. So I uh, hope you enjoy uh, a little insight for, for all the West teams. And uh, we thought we'd do something different, interviewing the kids and showing the juniors and, uh, you know, really promoting the, the junior rugby league here at West. It's a strong club. And uh, good luck to all teams. I'm sorry if we didn't get didn't get you. Sorry if we didn't uh, didn't get any of the teams, but good luck for everyone. Cheers.